Hey guys, it's me, Anderson 9132 and welcome. This is it, folks. After eight heats and two semi-finals, we're here with Robot Wars Armageddon Series 27 Grand Final. Oh, good grief. I can't believe I'm actually here, to be honest with you. I didn't even think I was going to get to start this series, let alone get onto the Grand Final. We've had a great run, we've had some fun, we've had destruction, we've had murderous and mayhem. Shut up. So, you know. Uh, hopefully the grand final will disappoint. So, let's get on with it, shall we? See number five, Snake Car. It's definitely beating its old seeding, by one seeding definitely. Um, it's the flipper robot, of course, and it is extremely powerful. But they're going up against it now. They're going up against seeding number one and reigning champions, Firestorm with the powerful front hinge flipper. Let's see who, if they can beat them. I don't think they can beat Firestorm, you know. Let me see a standby. Three, two, one. Activate. So here we go. Uh, they're both starting against each other. Here we go. There's Firestorm getting flung around. Now you see, I didn't think Snake Car would have much of a chance against Firestorm. I thought it would be difficult to get underneath the front wedge of Firestorm. Ah, oh, they flipped themselves. And Firestorm now immediately taking the advantage. Trying to get them out of the arena by the looks of things there. Well, it would have worked, but it didn't after all. Well, up in the air they go. Oh, good grief, that went flying! Nearly out the arena, and then need to kill that CPD. Get back. Get out of there, Firestorm, that's what I say. And now Snake Car trying to flip them, but getting flipped over itself there, Snake Car. Needs to self right, but we already know it has no streamer. Oh, and again! Very nearly out the arena. I now kill off plucks up Firestorm by their flipper. And I that's done some damage to the flipper, maybe. No, it doesn't look like it. Into Growler's CPZ now. Growler with the growl on the ground, knocking him out, out of the way. Get out of here. What's going on? Wait a minute. And then he just attacked him. And we've got yellow card and a yellow card to sneak on. That's the first thing that's ever happened in the balls. I'm again! Oh my goodness! Snake has just beaten the champions, Firestorm! Oh my goodness! Snake Car are through to the grand final! So they're either going to be seeding number one or seeding number I think this could do it, you know, Snake Car. It's a very impressive machine, and I like it. Well done to Snake Car. That is an almighty upset! Firestorm out already! That is rather a shocking uh, turn of events, that one. So, anyway. They're through to the St. Cars, through to the next round. Uh, they're through to the grand final. Firestorm goes into third and fourth playoff. Next match. Here we go. Cyclone. Been very destructive in its path here. It's been very fast, very nippy, very brutal. And above all, I think it can do the business. I mean, it's just so deadly. So fast. Um, we saw it destroy 44, so let's see what it does here. In the grand finals. AT15. Yes, they've finally been able to fix their spin after it broke off, but um, I would be worried if I was the team, especially if I was Alex, because they're against Cyclone, we've seen what Cyclone can do. Uh, hopefully AT15 can pull itself together and hopefully it'll do better than it has done before. Ruby is standby. Three, two, one. Activate. So here we go. Cyclone versus 8051. Look at that there. So 8015 standing strong against Cyclone's power, which is pretty interesting. Oh, it's well, flipped it over. Well, this could be very well an upset here, I suppose. Cyclone. Both of these robots are newcomers to the wars, by the way. I forgot to mention that. Dead Metal seem to have me sort of right. They get back in the CPZ says left butt. Get back in his CPZ. Oh, 8015. Attacking the red bot. <laughs> what was that all about? Maybe he didn't want him getting in the way of the fight. Maybe he wanted to have a bit more fun. I, I still don't think AT15 Blade is connected properly. Have you seen it? Look, it's a bit, bit, bit lopsided. I think for AT15. I'm not too sure though. Maybe you guys can tell me. But it seems a little bit like one side of the bandages that are holding it seems to be a bit more forward than the others. And look at the power there, of Cyclone. But just look how. Strong is Red Bull, get out of the way! <laughs> Stupid! Uh, well, the pit was not hit properly, so the pit was not released, so don't throw it, sorry, that doesn't count. Stupid Red Bull. Get out of the way. Oh, was it hit then? I don't think so, actually, no. Meanwhile, back in comes 8015, still trying to 
top one over. Now they've hit release button's been hit. Mm. So there we go. This has been a good fight so far. Eighty fifteen holding its own against Cyclone, who has been very demonic in this fight, though, hasn't he? Let's be honest. Oh, there's the pit right there. I want to be careful of that. Eighty fifteen. That bleed has had lots of trouble problems with breaking off in the past. Look at that. And they've been whacked and bludgeoned and blood and sweat has been knocked out of them. And I tell you what, they seem to be peeling a little bit at the size. The armament seems to be... Look at that, Matilda gets a little bit of a tackle in as well. Look at that, oh, straight to Matilda's CPZ. 1815 really does have to fight back here. Seems to be a very good opponent. But I don't know, time's ticking down for them here, the lads. The lads from up north, from somewhere up north. Alex and his friend, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, he likes to be discreet on the internet, which I can respect, and I'm sure everyone else can as well. Oh! Oh, no, no, no. In 1815, they certainly can't get themselves back from that. Oh, the Cyclone letting them back. How much? <laughs> well, he... <laughs> well, he let them back, only to throw them straight into the pit. Oh, dear. That's for now. I can't see them getting out of there now. Cyclone's still trying to get them out, but I don't think now it's out. Oh, AT15. They didn't have to do a good job, though, did they? They, uh, complete newcomers to the series. Through it was Armageddon, decided. Sorry, what am I saying? They went all the way through to the, uh, grand final stage. Lost here to a very good robot in Cyclone. I think Cyclone deserved that in the end. I think it was on top, to be honest. Uh, 8015 had more of a problem. It was very good to get this far, but uh, pitted. And as you can see, the blade still was pretty badly put together. I don't know why, it just won't stick together, it just won't stay on. Stupid thing. But anyway, they're in the third and fourth player against Firestorm. And Cyclone go through to the next round to face Snake Car. Those will be in part two of the grand final, those matches. Thank you very much for watching the first part of this grand final, and we'll see you for the next part. Bye bye.